I am uh, Chris Clatterbuck. I am the Chief of Resources here at Lewis and Clark National Historical Park. I'm Matt Van Ness. I'm the Habitat Restoration Program Manager over at CREST, the Columbia River Estuary Study Task Force. And together we're working to you know, restore this habitat. This behind me is the Otter Point Restoration Project. Uh, it's a 34 acre uh, wetland that we are currently working to restore uh, habitat for juvenile salmon uh, and also to try to recreate the scenery that was here when the Corps of Discovery first arrived in 1805. Once a tidal marsh, this land has been used for agriculture for decades. In the 1930s, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers built dikes and levees throughout the watershed. In the process, they eliminated about 95 percent of the wetlands. This area was used as a log dumping area also where they uh, dumped logs and dumped dredge material from the Lewis and Clark River. And so this project's designed to try to uh, turn back the time and recreate a more natural functioning ecosystem. The Columbia River is home to 13 species of endangered salmon. This project hopes to see the return of four species of salmon, Chinook, Coho, Chum, and Coastal Cutthroat. This will help create a very suitable habitat for juvenile salmon as they transition from a freshwater uh, river environment to the open ocean. Here in the Columbia River, there really is a major effort and lots of resources put into projects that benefit these fish um, to hopefully recover them to a point where they can be removed from the endangered species list. The project's first step was to learn where the old channels had once been. They used a technique called light detection and raging, or LIDAR. It is an optical sensing technology that can measure the distance to a target or other qualities by illuminating the target with light using pulses from a laser. These channels will be about 4,900 feet when all is said and done, so almost a mile of uh, salmon habitat is created through these excavations. Using large excavators, they will dig away at the old levee until it is thin enough to be washed away by the tide. At a high tide here on the Lewis and Clark River, we'll be standing in knee deep to uh, you know water here, and the, the the surface of this of this wetland will be totally flooded with water. This will be greened up entirely with plants. I'd imagine a lot, many birds, uh, uh, you know, waterfowl and other birds accessing it. We're going we're to see salmon in this in these uh, wetland channels that we've created here that have been totally cut off for the past 100 years. Another important part of this project is reseeding and replanting the land with native species. So, you know, we could expect to see 30 to 50 different species of plants in here after the tide is restored. I like this work because we'll, we'll see results immediately from, from our efforts. Uh, it's a really exciting project and it'll be, um, it'll be really great to see when the tide's coming in and out of here on a regular basis.